Good morning, True Art Believers. Um, this is Matt Pearson, and I have a topic that I want to talk about. As you can uh, kind of tell that I've been changing my format of these live streams. It used to be, let's watch Matt paint. Well, to be honest with you, no one wants to watch me paint. It is boring because it is super slow. It's not like that drip paint or like I'm not Jackson Pollock going this is or I'm not taking a, a a broom with dipping it in ink and just whoosh 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 or I'm not one of those uh, performance artists that takes uh, some uh, some boxy gloves, dips them in ink or in paint, and starts punching canvas, and all of a sudden, oh, you're so subser subversive. You're you're doing really interesting things. Or I'm not taking my shoes and sticking them in in in, uh, in paint and walking around canvas, and then rolling around and doing little break dance moves, and then and doing like the worm on the ground, and having people shoot me with squirt guns that have paint, and then I'm not uh, gobbling up a. Uh, 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 Glow in, a star, glow in a dark sticks and then chugging them and then regurgitating them on the ground and then throwing some ink splatters like that. I'm not doing that. It's very slow. It's like, this is like, no one wants to see that. Nothing gets done, right? It's just like, you're watching something. You're like, oh, I wonder what this Matt's doing right now. He's, uh, he's going to be painting. All right, that sounds interesting. And then all of a sudden you're like, you see, wow. Boring, right? It's super boring. So um, maybe if I was doing like, uh, if I was drawing, maybe drawing's kind of quick. You can see things happen in 30 minutes or in 10 minutes or even five seconds, right? But painting, uh, the way that I'm painting right now, it's very slow, right? And no one wants to see that for an hour. Um, anyways, good news, I'm done with my cherries. Bad news, I gotta work on the leaves. So good news, couple of bad news. That's fine by me. Um, so, I wanted to talk about a few things. Uh, actually, one topic, one, not, look, look at that. Look at those calluses. That's been doing deadlifts. They're kind of soft right now. I've been using, I've been using lotion. Um, so I got soft calluses, look. There's a little bit peeling right there. But anyways, uh, I wanted to talk about why artists hate tacos. I mean, the reason why they hate tacos is you're always grabbing the taco, you go to Taco Bell, you always can't find a good Taco Bell. It's not it's fake meat um, and you have to tilt your head to eat it and then you, all of a sudden you have a crick in your neck, you got to go to the chiropractor and get a massage. No. The reason why I want, <laughs> I want to talk about it is why artists quit. Okay. And what brought this up is a few things brought it up. Um, every year, around tax time, me personally, I start adding up the numbers of how much money, like how much I spent on, on art materials and how much I sold. And I'm like, geez, I am like in the black without a Black Friday where I actually go past the black and start making profit. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is, Ridiculous. Paint is expensive. Material is expensive. I'm spending copious amounts or countless hours painting and I haven't sold much. It's like, I'm not, they're stolen everywhere. Uh, the, the, the tax guy's like, why are you doing this? Why, why am I putting this num these numbers here? Uh, and I was like, I don't know why you're putting the numbers here. Like, uh, uh, your beats me. I'm just. I'm looking at my artwork. I'm looking at my 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 uh, uh, my checking account. I'm looking at how much I sold. I'm looking at how much I spent on materials. I'm like, man, that's rough. It's a punch to the gut, like real hard, like boom, right in the gut. Like my gut punched in, right. It is punched to the gut, puking. Maybe a little bit of crying. Maybe my 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 head is in the pillow. A lot of weeping happens, and and then I, I, I wake up the next morning, and I'm like, you know what, whatever, uh, these, I'm going to keep painting, I'm going to keep on keeping on, what is it, like uh, uh, Joe Dirt, Joe Dirte, um, going to keep on keeping on, and keep painting, because eventually someone's going to be like, wow, sweet meat, I want it in my house, or I want it in my burger joint, because I sell lots of burgers, and I want to support the arts, I know what it's like to be an entrepreneur slash business owner, and I'm like, thanks man. 
you really helped me out this month. I can buy more art supplies because guess what? What you pay when you buy this, all of it's going to be sunk right into art supplies like a business, man. All that's going, I'm gonna buy some new brushes. I'm gonna buy the good stuff. I'm gonna buy the flake white, not the hues. None of the hues. No more hues for me, cause I got some cash to spend. Someone bought a painting. I'm feeling flush. I'm gonna buy myself a, a, a brand new hat. Maybe I don't know. Um. Anyways, I digress. Feeling good. Have a coffee cup right here. Uh, it says mornings are such a drag. You're gonna see me with this coffee cup all the time because it's my favorite coffee cup because my wife bought it for me so much so that she bought me two because the other one I ruined with turmeric anyways I am going to talk about why artists quit do you want to know why artists quit I'll tell you why a few reasons why now this isn't a reflection on my personal life or uh, other people's lives. These are observations and they're also anecdotal. So I have some experience in them and I have some, uh, I don't have any experience in some of them. So like it's anecdotal. So it's from a, a observation and from my experience. So one reason why artists quit, you know, it's a hard job. It's a hard thing to get into, especially in this environment, but it's getting better. But one reason why is family and friends. Um, now, I'm not bashing my family, I'm not bashing my friends, I'm just saying family and friends uh, can be working for you or against you, right? Um, so certain people, certain family members will cast out, they're like, an artist, huh? How are you going to uh, uh, pay bills with that, right? And um, that's a way of not showing support. And it's really hard to show support for uh, a fine artist because there's a lot of doubt in there, right? It's not like uh, an illustrator, a comic artist, a game designer, or a graphic designer where you can uh, uh, get your degree, be moderately good at your work, and then go for a company and do uh, uh, designs for them or mock-ups or whatever you have to do. Um, in the art world, it's very hard. So they cast a lot of doubt. Um, a lot of the parents and family members and friends, right, um, don't understand how the art market works okay they're thinking it's like a Walmart where you go in and, you're, and there's like there's a, a, a artist that uh, do everything like do do work that people love every person loves and here's the thing not all of us can be Thomas Kincaid right not all of us can be uh, um, the the uh, 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 Bob Ross's where we paint nice happy trees and happy farms and happy cottages okay um, there's already a lot of those okay and the ones that already that already have their work cemented you're competing against them now so there's competition there so they think family and friends think that you have to make work that ever is acceptable across all uh, 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 all formats, all society, right? And it just doesn't work that way. Uh, now you can make, your, you can develop yourself to do a bunch of different things and people love each one of them. Um, and I know a lot of artists that do that. Um, and I know a lot of artists that do that and don't do well. And it's just how it is. And um, they don't understand that you're, 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 you're not seeking the masses, you're seeking a niche market, a niche. Is it niche or is it niche? Niche or niche? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, is it niche? Is it niche? I don't know. Uh, I can't pronounce the word. Uh, it's like bear. Are we talking about I'm cold as in a bear or is there's a bear behind me, right? No, it's you got to go niche or niche, right? And they don't understand that art is very selective. You have people that like your work and those people that like your work will buy your work. But they're, they, they're like, you got to go and, and make it available to everyone. Like, I understand the concept of making art available for everyone. It is available for everyone. But unfortunately, their idea is, the notion is, you got to make work that everyone likes. Now, you can try to do that. It's like, but you're not going to be very successful at it, right? Um, so they try to tell you what to make. Um, 
They want you to make work that's more appealing to the masses, and it just doesn't work that way, unfortunately. I like for it to be work, work that way, but it just doesn't work that way. Um, let's see here, I got a little list here. So, customers and consumers are part of the, uh, the reason why artists quit, you know? Um, in, in today's social media realm where uh, people think uh, liking your photo will get you somewhere, not necessarily. Like, it gets some people somewhere. Um, some comments go somewhere. Um, so, liking does not equal pay for the artist. As much as they like to see uh, 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 gratification or people liking their work, it doesn't take much to press the button, guys. Anyone could press that heart button on the bottom of that photo. I like this. Thank you. How much do you like it? Do you like it enough to pay uh, 20 bucks for a print? Not enough, because that's a lot of work. So, liking work is helpful. Sharing it is better. Comment it, doing comments is even better because it uh, fits with the algorithm. Um, but it doesn't work that way. And a lot of customers and consumers want to ask for free work. And this also goes with uh, friends and family. So this is kind of uh, a double whammy, right? They want you to do free work. And uh, case in point, uh, I was experiencing a conversation where people would come up to, uh, a, to school and ask if their students, uh, our students, would love to do a commission for free, right? But they'll get they'll get it they'll get a good portfolio uh, image and they'll get a lot of exposure. Listen, it doesn't work that way. You can probably get more exposure by posting your work yourself as opposed to having it at some uh, business. It's not like the business is going to say, "Hey, you like our artwork? Ch you like that work? Check it out. It's this artist. Go follow her. Go follow him and buy their work." Right? They're not doing that. It's like they're just seeking a freebie. Right? Um, or, or they want discounts on artwork. Listen, um, we're not Walmart. We can't afford to discount work. There's reasons for that, uh, especially with originals. Um, not everyone understands that when you buy a work for 50 bucks to 100 bucks, you're probably getting a discount, especially if it's a painting. Oh man, that artist is, is, is really dialing down their prices uh, because paint costs money. Frames, uh, 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 canvas cost, cost money. They're probably making 50 bucks off that, not including the time that they spent making that piece. So they're making less than minimum wage because they're just trying to move their work and it doesn't work that way. You're not helping that artist by buying their work for 100 bucks. They're making nothing. Um, so we can't do discounts the way that you think, right? Yeah, we might. Uh, if you pay cash, you might. The artist might reduce the price, uh, but in essence, you're not helping. Um, another thing uh, that the reason why artists quit is competition between other artists. There's this thing called the Pareto distribution, distribution, and it's um, it's it's the eighty twenty rule, meaning that uh. Um, 20% of all your customers, or 80% of all your profits come from like 20% of your, all your customers. Or the, uh, um, 20% per, uh, of all your artwork sales comes from 20% of a certain genre of art, you know? It's the same principle with, with artists, you know? In the area, right? Uh, like, 80% of all the art sales in the area is probably done by 20% of the artists in the area or in the world. And it's not for lack of trying, trying right? Um, so there is a uh, competition with other artists, which is very hard. There's a lot of artists out there. Uh, when I worked at a tire factory, what there was, um, there was a lot of competition between other tire salesmen. And what would happen would be, um, the uh, the tire salesman would go to a company that needed uh, or go to a, a customer that needed sales. They needed they needed to uh, uh, buy some tires, and they're like, oh, I was 
I was just talking to so and so and I was selling uh, he was going to sell these tires for 300 bucks and the the salesman's like listen 300 bucks is literally at cost or there be there even be a point where 300 bucks is below it actually cost more to buy that tire than to sell it for 300 bucks so they're taking a loss just to keep you as a customer um, same thing happens so uh, long story story short is when in the tire in the tire factory what what they would do is they they sell these tires for like very very little profit and then they they uh, try to recoup their pro, uh, their uh, profit margin through the service so they so installation and getting the tires mounted into balance that's where they get their uh, their money from um, because you're not making any money uh, by selling a tire at cost. That happens with all the other products. So what is it like? Walmart makes like one or two percent profit off, off each of their products. Like uh, food re restaurants make one to two percent or five percent. They make a really low profit margin for their products. Um, with artists, that happens as well. Uh, not not necessarily uh, uh, in like galleries, uh, but I, I can can I can see it at, at, at small art fairs or small art shows. Um, where you'll have customers come up to artists like and say like listen this this artist is selling this work for this uh why can't you uh sell your work for that and uh some artists will acquiesce and say yeah i'll sell it for that the reason why they'll acquiesce is because they they want to make the sale they want to get their work out there and their no their, their their idea is if i get my work out there I will be able to make, uh, there'll be a possible sale in the future because another person might be looking at that artwork in their house or the other person might talk about this artwork that they bought. But the problem is they'll talk about this artwork and um, they'll think that because that person bought that art, artwork for that price that they can go to the same artist and buy uh, an art piece for the same price as well. And so it kind of devalues the artist. And what what happens is there's this snowball effect where every artist is starting to devalue their work and they're lowering and lowering their price um, to be competitive. Now that doesn't always happen, right? Other artists raise their rates every year because the price of the dollar goes down and so forth. But that doesn't always happen. But when you're new or when you're struggling and you need to buy some food or you need to pay for groceries or you got like a heating bill or something like that, I can see how an artist would be like, Whatever, just 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 buy it. I need I I need to buy groceries. Yeah, here. Uh, and also, it takes time. They don't. They're sick and tired of seeing it. They want to store it. They don't want to store it anymore. So that's one reason why artists uh, start to quit or they start losing uh, 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 speed or strength in their in their integrity. They're like, oh, they're feeling they're feeling down and out, right? Um, because of this competition between other artists. Now that's changing. There's, there's uh, uh, with with social media. There's uh, support groups. There's meetups that are occurring. You know, this is not uh, 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 black and white, right? There's a lot of gray area happening here. Uh, so, but that's that does occur, uh, especially if you're new and you're trying to make it, uh, try to uh, make some sales as an artist. Um, so they're always fighting each other against the market. Um, Another part um, is just no sales, right? When you're an artist and you work your work really hard to uh, get your work out there, and you're putting in hours outside of work, uh, here's another caveat: a lot of artists that you know, especially uh, even professional artists, even ones that are making selling their work like hotcakes, you know, they can't they can't produce their work fast enough. They have another they have another job. A lot of them have two jobs. Some of them have three jobs. Is it three? Uh, three jobs, right? And imagine having three jobs, coming home, and then having to paint, and then trying to sell artwork. How many of you have three jobs? How many of you have two jobs? How many of you have two jobs and then go home and try to do like a, a small business on the side? That's what it's like to be an artist today. And if you're not moving or selling work, it's very uh, uh, disheartening and it can be unmotivating, right? Because you uh, have very little time as it is and you're coming home and putting four hours at, in the evening to do artwork and you're not selling. So that's unmotivating. And so no sales can also make a, an artist feel like they should quit, right? Um, 
and that's and that can only uh, go for so long, right? Like, how many years does it take for an artist to uh, not do well or try to make it as an artist or try to s sell their work? And then after four or five years, they, they're not doing well, or, or maybe their commissions are, are sporadic at best. Um, I don't know. Uh, but sometimes they start quitting, right? I know a lot of artists, great artists. I was surprised to see some of these artists not make any work anymore. And, and it's, it's disheartening, it's saddening, right? It happens, and the attrition rate, rate is so high, right? So, and that just happens. And what are you gonna do about it? Uh, you're just gonna keep chugging along and you gotta keep minding your own work. Mind your own business, mind yourself, and just keep cranking on that work, okay? Because eventually, someone's gonna notice, or at least I think they do, uh, fingers crossed, right? Was, uh, was, that, was that blowing raspberries? <laughs> Um, so you can only uh, some artists can only take so much uh, uh, rejection before they say they hang up their their uh, their smock or hang up their brushes and say you know what I need to do a nine to five the job so that I can I can uh, I have kids I have a family I have bills to pay you know they need that stability because art uh, making art work and uh, selling it is very it's very hard work and it's not stable it's not consistent you know and there I'm sure there's a lot of artists out there to like. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, listen, you're lucky, uh, or or uh, you got you found your market and you're doing well. All right, um, luck is also a part of it too. Like, uh, a lot of people don't think this, but like, you're you're one you're one person away from uh, see someone seeing your work who knows someone or is someone who wants to buy your work and put you on a map. It doesn't just like. It just, it's not like you make luck in the art world. You can keep uh, uh, promoting your work. You can, uh, you, can, uh, um, you can socialize, you can, uh, uh, you can advertise, and you can do all you can do, but it's no guarantee that anyone's gonna find your work. Now, there is some fair bit of luck. There's also, you can make your own luck. You, you can contact people. You can uh, force your way into these groups, but I'm not saying that uh, uh, it, it doesn't happen, right? Um, another thing, uh, the last reason, of course, there's a lot of other reasons why pe artists quit, um, and I, I'm kind of gleaning over, I might have glossed over things, and as I said, I kind of just hop around everywhere. Another reason why artists quit is um, people change as, as individuals, right? Maybe, maybe art was your thing when you're in your 20s, uh, maybe it was your thing in your 30s, maybe it was your thing in, in, in your teens, and then all of a sudden, you found something that you're really passionate about, and they and, and they and they quit because there is a a uh, uh, you're just a different person, right? You're no longer that artist, and and that happens. Uh, I think I, I know some artists that quit uh, or, or stop making art because either it was a, a, a litany of these items here, or it was because. They, they just change as individuals. Like they don't like making work. Maybe it stresses them out. Maybe uh, it, makes, it, it makes them uh, 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 anxious. I don't know. Uh, so, and that's okay too, right? People change and because they change, they stop making art, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, right? You do you. Beep, beep, beep. No, uh, you do you and um, yeah, so people change, and uh, family and friends, customers and consumers, um, no sales, and people change. Those are some of the reasons why artists uh, quit uh, uh, in this in this world, and 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 it's always changing. As I said, I probably missed a lot of things, and uh, another thing that you can think about is maybe other artists don't support other artists, or um, there could be parts where uh, uh, it's very clicky I don't know uh, there's so many things and variables to why artists quit that I can't really encompass it in in this video um, I think this was a better video than my other ones I'm, I've been talking for 24 minutes uh, which is pretty good uh, I think because I wrote a prompt right here so if you notice me looking down I've been looking down to kind of uh, 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 remember these things uh, maybe next time I have like uh, <laughs> like notes on my hand like um, the reason why artists quit is because, uh, yeah, I smudged it off. I don't remember. Um, so any, anyways, thank you very much 
uh, for stopping by. Um, if you want to support me and support the arts, uh, you can buy my work. You can buy other, other artists' work. I'm not forcing you to buy my work, but it'd be very helpful, very appreciative. Everything helps because you know why? You know what happens when you buy my work? It goes straight into my work, and it also I convert that 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 capital and buy food with it. So there's this this never-ending circle of economy, econ economics, right? There's a circle of it. So you, you give me money to, and I give you a print. And then I buy food, I buy a cheeseburger, and I go in my belly, and then I, I, uh, I use the restroom, <laughs> and then someone else uh, uh, has a job because they work for the uh, 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 waste department, and all, it's this giant circle of life, right? You're just helping me out. Um, you can buy other people's artwork, you can buy my artwork. I, 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 I'm going to keep making work regardless of the fact. Um, you can uh, uh, share this. You can uh, uh, like it, right? Boop, boop. Like, 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 like. You can like it. You can um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Matt Pearson Art. That's Matt Pearson Art. Okay, P I E R S O N. Thank you so much. Really appreciate all of you true art believers. Have a wonderful Saturday. Have a wonderful Sunday. Enjoy your week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Repeat. All right. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.